So how do we induce a different subconscious? How do you put programs in? Well, I know we've had lots of instruction, but I want some more. Okay, well, this, this basically, the first thing is, it's principally a habitual mind. That's why reading a self-help book doesn't change it, because that's not a habit. If you read the self-help book every day, <laughs> you know, for X number of some period of time, mm -hmm. if you read it like a habit, it will become a habit. If you read the self-help book one, it, the conscious mind became aware and it had no effect on the programs in the subconscious mind. Hmm. So anything that does habituation, but it has to be habituation uh, with intention and almost a religious fervor because it learns from repeating things over and over and over again. With passion or with... With passion and intention and, uh, and, and, to, uh, and just keep putting it in. And a little suggestion, mm -hmm. The precociousness, uh, the, the subconscious mind is like a precocious five-year-old. Mm -hmm. And it responds to you in a sense of how you respond to it. If you get mad at yourself, which frequently most people do, including myself in the old days, when I find myself, you know, I give myself a good talking to, Bruce, that's enough junk food, stop eating that stuff, go eat healthy food. <laughs> and then a minute later, there's a Krispy Kreme donut in my hands, you know, and I'm going, <laughs> oh, you stupid idiot. <laughs> you know? And... Uh, uh, what happens is this, if you want a child to, to work with you, you don't yell at it and, 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 and get it upset that it wants to run away from you, more or less. You give your child praise and commendation, and then it works faster. Mm. And I learned this myself because, like, that kind of thing where I'd find myself doing the, the same old behavior that I kept talking to myself about, and they get mad that I couldn't control it and get angry at myself. One day I changed tactics. It was be so. This day, the, I looked down and, and after giving myself a good talking to, I find a Krispy Kreme donut in my hand. You know what? The, for the first time in my life, I realized instead of my usual behavior, which was, "Oh, you stupid idiot! There you are with a stupid donut in your hand," mm -hmm. I stopped and I said, "Thank you." For what? What was I thinking? You showed me the donut in my hand. Why was that relevant? Because then I had the conscious point of saying, "Put the donut down." <laughs> And, and so then when I, I look at it, I said, just, oh, I've got it. So don't yell at yourself. Just, you caught yourself with the donut. That's good. Put the donut down. And then say, that was great. I caught myself. The next time, before I even got my hand on the donut, you know, my mind started to say, stop. <laughs> look where you are. Your hand's about to touch the donut. Conscious mind comes in and says, oh, good, good. Uh, I don't want that donut. And pull my hand back. Every time you repeat this, and it happens to much faster when you do it this way, much faster, the mind will catch it at an earlier step to the point when it's gotten such good commendation for being so alert to bring my attention to it, that it actually will not go there again. Hmm. That's and, great. And, and, but if you yell at yourself, uh, you've made it worse and you're sure as heck find maybe two Krispy Kremes in your hand the next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're almost done and I don't want no. to be, but... <laughs> I know you've got a lot to say, but I would like you to bring it to the miracle stage on our planet, if you will. I love that part of your book. The book's great, everybody. Spontaneous Evolution. It's just a wonderful, uh, it's called Our Positive Future and a Way to Get There from Here. What I'm saying is, underneath your skin, uh, we're actually made out of 50 trillion cells. The cells are the living entities. We've seen ourselves as the... I am Bruce, the human being. Well, the human being is actually not a single thing. The human being is 50 trillion cells living in community. And the relevance about it is virtually every cell in your body has every function that you have. Every cell has a digestive, respiratory, excretory, nervous system, reproductive system, even immune system. Wow. And, and so what's real about this is every cell is the equivalent functionally of a miniature person. They can live outside of your body, which was my job when I was cloning cells from people and putting them into culture dishes mm -hmm. and studying them. And they're like, they live in community and they live in harmony. And then I tell you this very simple fact. Inside your body right now, you've got 50 trillion citizens. Every cell of age is working, employed. Every cell gets paid. Every cell gets health care. That It's under protection. And there's uh, joy and, and love that can go throughout the entire system. And it's a truly an environment, and this is true, where no cell is left behind. And why this is important is they have an economy, they have an equivalent of money. And if you understand how they have politics, and how they have economy, and how you can get 50 trillion, that's 8,000 uh, times more people than on this planet. Uh, 
50 trillion uh, citizens that could live in harmony, then the old phrase, um, the answers lie within. If we look at the politics and economy uh, and how it works inside the body of a healthy human and apply those principles, we will create a world that will be exactly that, that uh, same nature of harmony and happiness and bliss that a human body can experience. And you're saying that collectively we're lined up to actually be able to do that. We are in the stage of that internet that opened this all up so we can talk around the world and everybody can get this information down, that everybody can become aware of, look, you were more powerful, uh, uh, you can walk across hot coals, uh, uh, women lift up cars. If a child's been in an accident under a car, there's so many stories I use in my lecture and showing that women can lift up a car. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. yeah, go out into the parking lot and lift up a car. And you think, what are you, crazy? Nobody can do that. And I say, when that child is under that car, that woman lifts up the car without thinking about it. That's a not so intentional, uh, or that is an intention. It's an intention. Yeah. Yeah. It's an intention yeah, yeah, yeah. of our power when you stop questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. But we have always been programmed to question, who do we think we are? Mm -hmm. And when we answer that question, it's usually not a very high level of authority. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, I'm just a guy here. Just don't, don't bother me. Okay, yeah, I want to be humble. I want to be... <laughs> because this is so cool, because people are... Uh, this, this is important, because at least if they get this understanding that there's more to their operation than the conscious mind is letting on, Mm -hmm. that if they understand this mechanism and how it works, they can become the master of the program rather than the victim of the programming. Right on. And, and it's necessary because we need our powers back. Mm -hmm. And if we collectively can get our powers back, you go out there, just take a survey of the world, 90% or more of the people would most likely say, if you ask them, what do they want? They want some peace, some harmony, some food, a job. And it's like these simple things, and guess what? And love. And that would all come together with this bliss thing if we became able to create what we all really wanted rather than what we've been programmed with. Wonderful, wonderful. So it's time for us all to really consciously share that with everyone around us, too. It, it is, because as we start to make our own lives really great, which you can do by changing these programs, and they're just fabulous. Go to my website, BruceLipton.com. There's a, a, a column called Resources. And there's a whole list of different modalities and ways to reprogram the subconscious to get your power back. Mm -hmm. and, and the significance about that is if you start doing this and you start to realize how all of a sudden you're walking off the ground, you're, you're walking in a world that other people might be losing their heads, and you seem to be like in this sunshine garden while the rest of the world is in a craze, <laughs> is because you've actually started to manifest your creation. And, and the rest of the world will look at you and say, I want that. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to then be uh, uh, you know, one of the facilitators of cultural creative wow. that will help us get out of this matrix and let us create the world that we as a group want, not the individuals that control it, but as a group want peace and harmony. Wonderful. You're very inspiring. And we'll check your website, brucelipton.com.